Hey ICPians, welcome to Ledger Life. Day 7 of Caffeine AI's open testing phase just dropped a wild batch of early stage projects. And honestly, it's exactly what happens when developers are handed ready-made tools and simply told go build. From staking calculators and time trackers to social feeds, games, dashboards, and even a private file manager, this wave shows what rapid public experimentation can look like when the barriers to deployment disappear. Quick heads up, if you like what we cover and want to support independent reporting on the ICP ecosystem, our donation wallets are in the description. Every bit helps us keep this rolling. Let's run through some of the most interesting tools, experiments, and ideas that popped up. And yes, Ledger launch is in the mix too. Caffeine's whole process is refreshingly simple. You get an invite code in your inbox, you log in and you start building. There is no grant process or pitch deck, no long wait times, just the tools and the freedom to create. The result, a stream of functional apps built fast. Not everything is polished and not everything lasts, but the pace makes things exciting. One new project per day isn't just a marketing line. It's the lived rhythm of the space right now. And when something does land, it lands hard. Like the staking calculator from Ham PNG. This one is practical and overdue. A lot of people in the internet computer space stake their tokens in neurons. But figuring out what you will earn isn't always easy. Generic calculators don't pull real data and guessing doesn't help. Ham PNG fixed that. His staking calculator pulls live neuron data directly from the network, giving you accurate estimates on staking rewards. So if you have been staking ICP or are considering it, this tool gives you the actual numbers based on real conditions, not placeholders. It's simple, direct, and actually useful. It might not have a flashy UI yet, but it works, and for many, that's enough. Next is Ledger Launch. Yes, this one is ours, and this is built by my colleague. Ledger Launch is our experimental build inside the Caffeine AI environment. Think of it as a micro-posting platform, which are part social feed, part builder playground. We started with almost nothing, a static wireframe and an idea. In a few sessions, we now have a working posting interface, working profile setups, and image uploads are nearly complete. The platform also shows wallet addresses, but the activation is pending from the Caffeine team. And we have shaped its identity with a proper tagline, categories like trending, meme day, and builder runs, and are working on moderation tools and filters. Is it finished? Not at all. Is it fun to build? Wildly. What makes Ledger Launch special is and how smooth it is. It's how fast it evolves. Every bug becomes a to-do list. Every missing button turns into a GitHub commit. We are building publicly, iterating live, and the feedback is already shaping the next version. We are calling it Powered by Caffeine, run on optimism. It might look like the rogue younger sibling of Ledger Life, but honestly, it's becoming a space where ICP builders can speak casually, post freely, and see what happens. And that's the energy we want. Meanwhile, Nova Hodler built something deceptively hard, a time tracking app optimized for mobile. Now, this might sound basic, but building an accurate real-time time tracker with mobile responsiveness pay calculation, and good UX is not a weekend project, except in Caffeine AI apparently. His app lets you start and stop work sessions, calculate total hours, and get a pay estimate. It's already useful for freelancers, remote workers, or teams managing their own hours. It's a polished MVP that proves you can use this stack for serious productivity tools, not just games or gimmicks. We also saw a thoughtful return from Eric Potter. He took a break after earlier builds, but came back with a big idea and a lot of perspective. His new project, a sovereign cloud and wiki style knowledge based app, it's multilingual, self hosted, and focused on long term utility. Built using multi canister storage on internet computer, it's designed to store content across multiple nodes, avoid central failure points, and give full control to users. This is about owning your information, not just storing it. He 
He admits performance lows a bit with big cord bases, but the long view is clear. He is building digital permanence into ICT. This one's not flashy, but it's the kind of deep build that will probably still be running when other apps fade out, and that's saying something. Now, something fun. Satoshi's first run by Justin Jack Bear. This is a cute 2D game that doubles as a capture. You play as Satoshi, yes, a former filled mascot, running, dodging obstacles, and collecting token rewards like ICP, Cloud, Bitcoin. It's simple, playful, and token integrated. You actually earn for playing. It's not designed to drain hours of your life. It just wants to prove you are human and make it a bit of fun while doing it. The best part, it works as a prototype for gamified access, NFT airdrops, or token-gated features. This is the kind of micro game that could sit inside a bigger app and improve user experience. Let's talk files. I see files by CryptoDictor as solving a real need. This app is a private by default file uploader and sharing tool. You upload a file, get a private link, and share it securely. All built using React and Tailwind and deployed on the internet computer. It looks clean, has dark mode, and doesn't try to be everything at once. It just solves a clear issue, which is secure, decentralized file sharing. It's the kind of tool web developers can instantly use without having to learn blockchain intricacies. Great example of building with familiar frameworks and backend decentralization. ICP Insider calls Caffeine AI a beast and proved it with Inside ICP. Inside ICP is a dashboard for the ICP ecosystem. It shows cycle burn, popular dApps, ecosystem tools, and even lets you submit new projects. It's like a control panel for people building or investing in ICP. In a world of scattered updates and too many Discord threads, Having a visual hub like this makes it easier to follow the scene. It's not a project in itself. It's a tool to track all the other projects. Meta, yes, useful, definitely. Then there is Marlon Hanks, the Cord Manager, one of the most accessible tools we have seen yet. This one is built for non-developers. You paste in a Cord snippet, lock it, and send it to a developer for review or help. It's not a compiler. It doesn't deploy dApps. It just gives you a safe place to share and store your code ideas. Think of it as a sandbox for the curious. Want to show a dev what you're working on? Just paste and share. It brings the community into development by lowering the barrier to participate, even without knowing how to code. So what connects all these? They are not perfect, they are early, some are rough, but they are all functional, public, and improving fast. What we are seeing is iteration in motion. Projects like Ham Cheese Calculator could evolve into full dashboards. Ledger launch could become a social hub for ICP builders. IC files might add encryption layers. Time tracker could include payment triggers. These aren't static apps. They are scaffolds for future tools. Of course, it's not flawless. Eric mentioned it. Larger apps slow down during updates. Token scripts are still clunky. Debugging is very hands-on. There is no one-click publishing yet for complex systems. Caffeine isn't the silver bullet, but it's a good start. What day seven proves is that developers, even solo, can build fast. And when the environment reduces friction, the creativity shows up. Broken MVPs ship, real feedback comes in, apps improve. And here is the bigger point. AI doesn't replace developers. It supports them. From tool design to UX decisions, every project here involved real thought. These builders didn't just prompt and publish. They considered workflows, behaviors, ecosystems. AI gave them speed, but they gave it direction. So where do we go from here? Will these dApps become part of bigger suits? Will builders start teaming up? Hard to say, but the direction is promising. We are seeing token incentives actually work. We are watching devs adapt live. And we are starting to feel what building in public can mean for Web3. The future is not just in blockchains, it's in the pace of building. And day seven shows us, pays us back. If you made it this far, thank you. We are independent, no sponsors, no grants. If you have found value in these updates, consider donating. Our wallet addresses are in the description. 
Also, every app we mentioned is linked below. Go try them out, post feedback or even remix them. We'll be back soon. Until then, stay caffeinated and keep shipping. This is Ledger Life.